Welcome back to the Overcomfort Podcast. I am your host, Jenica Lopez. Thank you guys so much for being here from wherever you guys are listening or watching in the kitchen, in the house, in the gym. Someone messaged me today. Can you say that we're in the gym? Because I've been listening to the gym on the treadmill. So shout out to you guys. I am super excited. One, because of our guest today and two also because this is episode 39 we have one more before the season well next week is the season finale you guys so make sure you guys check out all those episodes get yourself caught up and watch today's episode join me we have la comadre Hi, Jesus. Acevedo, right yes Acevedo. Acevedo. Mm-hmm. i'm super excited obviously i've seen your tiktoks love I'm real thank huge you. fan over here my friends are huge fans too I and they're to, so real thank you. <laughs> they're so real. um honestly they make they brighten up my days and especially oh, the ones you. you've done with my mom like they when make I say- me <laughs> love her so much like me and mis primas are always like i like oh like let anyone say anything like let like i have i we love everyone that i have a bullying account so trust me if someone said something i would go on there yes because some people like they need to be put in their place especially if they speak on my queen i know yo me ataco feo y bastante no but don't bully people no not bullying it's more of like tu caete si tu que sabes like it's like cosas así and then kind of just like like, oh. te vas a arrepentir de esto. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you. I want to know, ¿Quién es Jesús? I'm going to give you the mic so that you can tell us what you do, who you are, where do you come from. I kind of know, but uh, for the people out watching or listening, who is Jesús or a.k.a. La Comadre? Mm-hmm. Pues, soy del Central Valley. I grew up in a small town called Corcoran. Tengo 23 years. I know I look young, pero Cute. no tanto, ¿verdad? <laughs> And um, I'm a Tauros, nací el 5 de mayo, as stereotypical it is, as it is, nací el 5 de mayo. Wow. Um, soy straight. Me lying. Soy gay. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, me gusta hacer videos on TikTok. It's, I started como during COVID. Yeah. Y nomás era como random little videos of like, oh, like, cosas que me pasaban or with my family. Y empezaron a pegar. And then I was like, oh, pues let me like continue doing it. And that's why I have my platform. Um, me gusta mucho. I like... Like, these mis pendejadas. Even if, like, sometimes my pendejadas, like, don't get any likes. I'm like, Ay, I thought it was funny. I like, yo, yo me entretengo solito. <laughs> no, what I love is that you, it's so relatable and very organic. Like, maybe because I'm Mexican and obviously everybody at home, too. Like, they kind of know. And you always do, like, the relatable, like, in La Casa or when you go to Mexico. I love or it. do, mm-hmm. like, you know, the videos of my mom. Lo- again, huge fan. But... Did you just start it because you were stuck at home? Yeah, like, Los Maestros, like, the first, um, like, I think it was, like, semester, the COVID, nadie sabía, like, how to do online, like, learning fully. Um, so I had a lot of free time, so I was like, I pues lo voy a hacer. Like, I already, like, posted a little bit, but not a lot. Y empezaron a pegar. Um, mm-hmm. And either way, it's really fun. Yeah, like, anyone who wants to do social media, I think do it. It's fun. But just make sure you make it fun and it doesn't turn into a job. Porque luego ya no lo vas a enjoy. Yeah, honestly. Is it like your full-time job basically now? Um, It was, but not so much anymore. I just got a new job. Yay for Ooh, me. congrats. Um, I feel like I also got the job porque I don't want to rely on it. Yeah. Porque siento que me roba también la felicidad. Yep. You know, because I'm like, like how you said, I like making my videos organic. So I feel like when I made it my job, Mm-hmm. the organicness started going away because I was like, oh my God, nisto que subir porque si no, que voy a hacer, you know? Mm-hmm. So I have a job now, so I'm excited para poder agarrar, do that again. And it's still organic, pero I feel like me quito a lot of like yeah. the fun mm-hmm. of it, you know? Porque mis amigas antes, they'd be like actually so scared to go anywhere with me because I was going to pull out my phone and they were going to be, they were like, mm-hmm. I like, mm-hmm. girl, like, you're going get, to get us looking bad in the video, like <laughs> give us a warning, you know? And I'm not like that that much anymore porque yeah. now I overthink. So I'm trying to like, get away from it but i still want to be online i just don't want to like depend on it like that what's your new job i'm a nanny assistance i'm Cute. good with kids yeah i'm good with kids too i always wanted to be like a teacher oh really yeah i First wanted to be a kindergarten teacher and then i was like i know and then i was like let me do a vet tech and then i was like i know Never mind. <laughs> and then i was like let me do communications and that's another story wow mm-hmm. okay all right so you have that in between you also mentioned that you were gay Yes. Can I know your f- coming out story? Like, how was that? Yeah. Especially because your family's from Michoacan. Mm-hmm. So very, very así fuertes también. I see. I how see. was all that growing up? Mm-hmm. Pues, um, growing up, I feel like nunca dije nada hasta que I was out of um, high school. 
And it was because, like, growing up, and you see that, you hear, like, all those little comments. Y, like, aunque la gente diga, oh, los niños chiquitos no hacen caso desde chiquito, I, I feel like I knew I was gay. Mm. But that, like, I have, I know people are like, I can't remember. Right. Desde el kinder, I remember, like, liking a little, a boy. I was like, oh, my God, like, oh. like I'm going to say his name. Oh, my God, Brock's so mm-hmm, nice. Mm-hmm. Esto que el otro, my friend, and my sisters were like, that was the only guy friend you ever had. Because besides that, I always had girls. You have siblings? Yes. Okay. So, más chiquito de cinco. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Pero, um, basically, well, I came out to, um, with my siblings, it was more of, like, not coming out. It's kind of like, I would just say things. They would know. And it was like, they were like, there was never like a conversation to be had. It was more of like, they knew and I knew that they knew, but we never like would talk about it because they're also more religious than me. You know, yo siento que yo soy el único de mi familia que isn't like, oh, like, you know, which isn't a bad thing. Um, like, I love them and I love going to church with them. No más que siempre me da mucho miedo because they would always go back to like, pues en la, en la Biblia dicen eso. So for my mom, I came out with, I came out to her when I was on my way to Burlington. I've talked about this before. Yeah. It was one of those moments. I'm pretty sure every like gay person or bi person or like whatever person siente where it's like, nomás te da como mucha desesperación. You're like, I just need to say it. Yeah. So it was like a her and me day porque teníamos esos días. And we went and then we were about to pull up and I was like, mami, te puedes decir algo? And she was like, okay. And I was like, pero no te vas a enojar. And she was like, ay, pues yo no, 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 ya, no. Yeah. But I was like, pero no te vas a enojar. She was like, ay, pues yo no sé. And I was like, ay, pues entonces no te digo que te vas a enojar. I actually was like, pues entonces no te voy a decir. And then she was like, um, she was like, ay, esto que lo otro. And I was like, so again, she was like, no. Mm. And I was like, sí. And she was like, no. And I was like, mami, no te estoy pidiendo permiso, te estoy diciendo. Wow, that's good. And then se puso a decir que, ay, no, pero es que tú cómo sabes que like no te gustan las mujeres y nunca has estado con una. And I was like, mami. It no es algo que necesito que hacer, try, no es un, una comida. I was you like, just knew. yo sé. And then I was like, we have gay family members. And I was like, oh, Julano's gay. Like, esta persona es gay. And then um, mi tía es lesbiana. And I was like, mi tía es lesbiana, esto que lo otro. And she was like, no más porque ellos son, no significa que tú debes de ser. Mm-hmm. Trata esto que lo otro. And I was like, mami. And I was like, because I had, like, I was fully out on TikTok at that point, mm-hmm. right? And I was, like, posting stuff. And I was like, ¿cómo se? I was like, because she was like, esto que otro, y me quería como que regañar. And I was like, se siente tan feo que I'm like, yo me sentí más a gusto diciéndole a todo el mundo, gente que no conozco, que yo soy gay. You felt y, safe. And I was like, y contigo que eres mi mami, me dio mucho miedo y hasta ahorita te estoy diciendo. Wow. And then she was like, ay, pues yo no sé. And then um, I wanted to cry so bad, but I didn't because I'm one of this, like me pongo terco and I was like, they're not going to get, like, a reaction on me. So I was like, oh, okay. The Taurus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Very Taurus. So then we went through our shopping. Like, I wanted to cry, but I was like, me voy a aguantar. Me voy a aguantar. Me aguanté todo en Burlington. Me aguanté all the way back home. It was kind of quiet. Was it the quiet car ride where you were looking outside uh-huh. the no, window? No, it was like I was driving, and I was kind of, like, more, uh... like, facing this way because I was like, ooh, like, my eyes are getting, like, mm-hmm. I'm getting to that point where I'm like, I'm going to, like. The pressure and yeah. everything. So as soon as I got home, I was like, voy a ir mi amiga. And then um, as soon as I dropped off and I got to Rosa's, I let go of everything. I know. And then Rosa was like, I, Jesus, like, I'm so sorry. Porque me llaman Jesus, my friends mm-hmm. from back home. She was like, I'm so sorry. I still she was like, they'll understand eventually. I was like, I know, Rosa. I was like, I was just expecting, like, yeah. because, like, I'm a mommy's boy, you know? Mm-hmm. So for me, para, para que mi mami me diga eso, I was like, like, you know, like, la única persona who should love me is, yeah, like, finding, like, a thing not to, you know? And then um, the days after that, también eran muy difícil because since I like, I feel like they always, my mom always knew, pero me confirming it, it was like a reality, mm. you know? It's like, it's not real until I say it. Yeah. You know? So. Um, you felt like a huge shift. In yeah. Everything in your life. No, like, and I love my mom and I don't hold anything against her, pero the way that I was treated after that, like for, I want to say like maybe a couple weeks. Like, era tan feo. Like, I've talked about this before. Like, I was like, la forma que es mi papá. At this point, my dad didn't know yet. Okay, yeah, that's what I was mm-hmm. going to ask. He, your mom did never told him? No. Oh, the reason, let me back up a little. Okay, I forgot no, this go. part. Um, The reason, well, when we were in the car, she was like, y no le vayas a decir a tu papá ahorita. She was like, because mm. my dad has had a heart issues. So she was like, se muere de un coraje, le da algo. And she was like, y qué vas a hacer tú, y qué voy a hacer yo? Like, you know? So then I was like, oh my God, like, what if I say something like, lo mato. I like that guilt tripping a little mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. So then um, after that, when I got home, after everything, like, 
como que mi mamá me trataba un poquito diferente, you know? And I don't hold it against her. Right. Like, she was proce probably processing things too. But it was like, yo soy muy, like, me chiqueaba mucho. And it's like, me cortó todo eso, you know? Mm. So I got to the point where it's like, I had, like, me clothes because I like to thrift. I packed my suitcase, like, with my favorite clothes because I was like, la forma que es mi familia, I was like, they, I, I love them so much, but they can be very, like, cold. Mm -hmm. So I was like, si me echan, de la casa, I was like, they're not going to give me, like, time to grab anything. So I packed my suitcase with my favorite clothes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I had even told, like, una de mis amigas vive right there. And then I had my other two friends that lived, like, on opposite sides of the town. And I remember I told them, I was like, hey, I was like, if I call you and I need you to, like, yeah. come pick me up, I was like, come get me. please, like, come pick me up. because I'll, And I explained everything. And they're like, yeah, like, you could stay with us. Like, no one can. I was like, yeah, but I was like, please, like, if I call you, I was like, come quick. Because I was like, I, I don't think that they would be capaz, but I was like, If they put up a fight, they could, like, not even let me take my clothes, you know? Yeah. Or my suitcase. So I was like, ocupo que, like, vengan. So then, um, tengo una amiga que también um, es LGBTQ. And then they started kind of like, well, my, my brother and my mom started saying, like, a lo mejor es porque te estás juntando con esta persona, esto que lo otro. And I was like, mami, no es una cold, no es una gripa, no se pega. Pero yeah, it was very... It was hard. Yeah, you know? And as much as, like, I try to, like, oh, make it seem like no es nada ahorita, porque ya ha pasado tiempo, todavía cuando I think about it, like, me pongo triste, because it's like, oh. How is it now? Mm -hmm. Like, how did, like, she get over it, or how did, how's the relationship working mm -hmm. now? Bueno, pues, get over it? No. I feel like ella todavía está en eso, like, I, well, I had a boyfriend, and um, he wanted to, like, meet my family. Um, but my mom didn't want to meet him you know wait um, again your dad never found out or what he doesn't know or you never told him what he knows we never had a conversation about uh, it though so it's like the big elephant in the room nobody mm -hmm. talks about yeah like landicho um sano how and like he just kind of like doesn't talk but me and my dad don't we're not very talkative like i know the love is there except he's very picks and he picks and chooses with things you know like mi tia su hermana is lesbian okay loves her to death would do anything for her But we have some, I have a cousin, a couple cousins that are gay. Does not fuck with them at all. But he makes excuses for her. She was like, es mi hermana esto que el otro, you know? Mm. And I feel like he kind of makes excuses for me too. Like, pero natito como que le da coraje. And that he just like switches. But it's like never a conversation that we've had. Because I've never seen it. And I've never thought of it as ending well. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I've even told this to, like, a couple of my friends. I don't think I've ever said this, like, online. Actually, I have on live before, but, like, late at yeah. night once mm -hmm. when I was, like, um, talking. Um, I don't think I'd ever be able to bring someone home to my dad until he's dead. Yeah. I, and I know that sounds so horrible to say, but uh -huh. I kind of, like, put it in my head, que eso no va a pasar. You know? And I know que gente va a decir, pues a ti que no te importa, and I'm like... Si me importa, you know, and it's like, yeah. yeah, I can put myself in that situation and make a whole big scandal, but I'm like, I don't want to. Like, I genuinely, like, I know que, like, I mentally, I would not be able to do it. Yeah. I, like, I know they're just like, ay, que ti te valga madre. I'm like, it's easier said than done when someone who's supposed to love you doesn't and when anything can switch, you know? And I know that, like, you, a la mujer te va a decir, oh, pues, if you, if si tu mamá luego si te acepta y tu papá que lo deje, I don't think my mom would be, like, strong enough to leave my dad. And I don't think at this age she would even consider it, you yeah. know? So I feel like it would be tearing away from everything that I know. And I know my siblings, now they're, like, a lot better. I know they would probably try to defend me, but I don't think that they would, like, go. Yeah. Like, they're, like, like in, like in the middle, basically. Mm -hmm. Does I... And I'm asking because, like, I've seen it in other families as well, but, like, it... Does it affect your relationships, like your like with your partners? Yeah, um, that was a really big thing that I had with um, my ex. Que él se ponía muy triste, and I understand that because it was like, oh, you know my family, but I don't know yours. And my my thing, like I like trust me, like I wish that I like my family, like me getting shaky. Sorry, right, it makes no, me nervous. So, no. But like, um, I wish that my family was like that, where I can like yeah. just bring someone, you know. But it's not the case. And he was like, oh, was maybe like. If they maybe they will like me, and I was like, I was like, maybe, but I was like, I know my family, and I was like, as much as I'd love a miracle, like, okay, like, ellos cambien y que lo hagan accept, but I was like, like, yo no tengo fe que eso pase because I know how they are, you know? And then I'm like, 
also que vergüenza, like, me taking my boyfriend or something, y que me hagan un armen un escándalo ahí, que le digan cosas, que le digan cosas a él, yeah. y que, like, yo me tenga que defender en frente mm -hmm. de él, because the thing is, my family, like, not even trying to shade, hay veces la gente de Michoacán, can be kind, very rough. Okay, yeah, that's what I was going to say. In Mexico, how, ¿cómo te tratan allá? Uh, allá, todos, like, the thing is, like, I feel like they respect you, mm. but also I'm not their family, so they're like, Ay, pues, yeah. no, no nos importa. But mm. since it's my family, it's, like, different, you know? Mm. And then mi familia es de las, like, no regañan bonito. And I know that you're like, oh, what do you mean que no regañan bonito? Alguien te puede regañar, they can scold you. But like with my family, cuando nos, even I have this and I've unlearned it. Cuando te enojas, you just have to say anything para atacar y para lastimar. Like yeah. you just have to like, like the goal is to hurt. Yeah. Like, and it's like one of the things, and it's like, I feel like with my past relationship, I think I learned a lot from him because he was very emotional. And I was, I'm very, I still feel like I'm very like jagged, like on the rough on around the edges. Like, and sometimes I can say things quick porque I'm on that like, Living at home, it put me in that defensive, like, Because you've been quiet for so long. Like, I feel like you've been, like, in a mm -hmm. bubble that they've, you haven't been able to, <sighs> since you were little, probably, like, you've mm -hmm. always wanted to say, or, like, it go back to when you were telling your mom in the car, like, mm -hmm. te ganaba las, las ansias, like, you just wanted to say it. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, like I said, like, since they have, my family has jabbed at me before, like, diciendo me cosas. Yeah. It's like. I either me dejo or I can try to defend myself and like act like I don't care, you know? Yeah. Pero, um, yeah. We're, we're, I forgot where I was going no, with this. Sorry. <laughs> I like dis um, distracted myself. But yeah, I just never wanted to bring someone into that situation yeah. because I'm like, me da, like, I love my family, pero me da mucha vergüenza que todavía piensen así. Because yeah. it's kind of like, like, I feel like, like, and my friends who have met them, they always say they're like, oh, like your family's nice, but they're like, you're nothing like them. Like, like personality wise. And I'm like, I'm also the youngest, but I have a 10 year age gap between me and my closest sibling. Oh, wow. Like my oldest sibling is like 40 something. Wow. Oh yeah. So there's obviously a lot more that you know now than they know. Mm -hmm. and, and then it's... my parents are like older, mm -hmm. you know, like my grandpa is like 90 something, yeah. you know? So it's like, yeah. They know nothing more. And it's like, I always tell my family to him, like, mis papas son like de rancho. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, I'm like, so they still carry those, like, mm -hmm. like those mentalities. And I'm like, and as easy as it is to be like, try to educate them. Yeah. Like, the thing is, you can try, but you can't make someone learn something or want to understand something. Si ellos no quieren. Like, exactly. you can try all you want. No va a cambiar. But as long as you are able to express what you're feeling, mm -hmm. they might not understand but as long as you get to say what you are off your trust and live the life gay mm -hmm. that you always wanted. And then it's also like my family no es muy de um, showing love yeah. like that, you know, like, Very I, common. like, mm -hmm. like it's just their thing. Like, like one of my friends went with me to Mexico and she stayed with me for three weeks and she was like, I don't think I ever heard like your mom say like, Oh, te amo, te quiero mucho. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, I'm the one that, like, in my whole family, I'm the one that says, like, oh, te quiero mucho, mami, te quiero mucho, Yola, te quiero mucho, Chavas, te quiero mucho, Lupe, te quiero mucho, papi. That's good, though. And then um, she was, like, and they always find they're, like, yo también. Mm. But it never, the words never come out of their mouth, or they're, like, ay, pues, que bien. Like, they say things like that, you know? And she was, like, yeah, she was, like, tú eres así, and I was, like, no, and I was, like, and that's, I know that people are, like, oh, like, um, going a little bit off track, but still on track, like, oh, like, I don't know how to, like, love properly because I wasn't shown. I wasn't shown it, but I knew that that's what I wanted. So I'm like, I forced you myself. You give it to people. Yeah, I forced myself. I was like, I no me acostumbro a decirle a like, like people like, I love you or like demo. But I was like, yeah. I want that. So I was like, I'm going to pu push it forward. Like, like even if it feels awkward at first, like, te quiero mucho, te amo. Like, like you know. You're always saying I love you. Mm -hmm. because, yeah, I feel that. I, I feel when I always bring somebody like into my life, I'm caring for them the way I needed to be cared for when I was little. Like, mm -hmm. I wanted somebody to be there for me. I needed the guidance. So I feel you on when you say, like, I'm going to say I love you, even if they don't say it back. Mm -hmm. That is such a beautiful thing. To and do. it's like, it's like confusing. Yeah. Like, because it's like, I know you love me. Mm -hmm. Pero por qué no lo dices? You know, like, like, it's just, it's okay. Like, just say, like, it's nomás unas palabritas to you. But I, like, it's like the whole world to me. And which you know? a lot of people have a hard term learning. And maybe, like, for example, your grandparents never told your parents mm -hmm. that they love them. No, and th that's the thing. Yeah. It's like, it's kind of like a little cycle. It's yeah. like when they say that cycles repeat, and it's like, oh, like tus papas tienen su trama de sus papas, yeah. and then they hand them it's over to you. It's a generational curse. 
mm -hmm. where you keep bringing it, bringing it, bringing it, but you're breaking it for when Si Dios quiere, one. If you want, do you want kids? Yeah, Maybe? Yes, exactly. You give them the love that you never got. Mm -hmm. And but it's so difficult trying to break it. Yeah. Because you're seen as odd. Yep. Uh huh. But that because yeah. like my family always says like I know like get I chuche mm -hmm. like tú eres like sa tú, sali tú eres como sabe como mm -hmm. you know and it's because they're not used to it. Yeah. No. So to them it's like why are you doing like this if we're all like this and it's yeah. like because I I like I don't want to be like that no. you know. Yeah. Oh, my God. Are you okay if we go on a break really quick? Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to go on a quick break. We're going to get right back into this, you guys. Good, good conversations. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. Welcome back. Okay, so we were just talking about generational curses. I love talking about this. Okay, and I want to touch into the topic about how you express love. Do you know your love language? What's your love language? What? I feel like mine is physical touch, but I feel like okay. I cover all the bases. And I know that some people are like, oh, like. The way like you it has give it or the way you receive it? What? Both. Okay. Like kind of like, I feel like, I don't even know how to say it. Like, I feel like I don't like to choose because I'm like, I accept the love that I know that that person can give the best. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. I personally like like physical touch. Okay. And like, um, what's the other one? Um acts of kindness okay but then i also love um words of affirma affirmation affirmation because okay. i feel like if i just like i don't know if that's me being greedy but i'm like i just feel like it should be a little bit of everything you know it is it should be at least like understanding the way you give it or when someone receives it like for me that's why i started working on like my relationships and stuff like how i give or give love i give love with acts of service like i love cooking for people mm -hmm. or giving them whatever they need and um words of affirmation mm -hmm. but that's also the way i receive love i feel like once you find those people like okay and also understanding each other which i feel like a lot of people and past generations really don't understand is like i just want to get to know you and for you to love me for me and express the way i want to and kind of you know have a better mm -hmm. relationship yeah i feel like i almost like not more because i feel like in a relationship you should never change but i feel like i adapt yeah you know so i feel like with my past one i tried my best to give all three even though that i'm like i like i feel like in my past one this last one right yes okay i wanted to talk about that because i saw mm -hmm. it was on online and everything and your thought process and everything with that mm -hmm. how, how que pasó? Mm -hmm. bueno pues um it started off like i feel like everything like relationships start off really nice yeah and then First. you have to I told us enter in a relation con su baggage. You can either trip over it or you can unpack it together. And I feel mm -hmm. like we were um doing a pretty good job of unpacking it, but things happen in life, you know? And it gets harder. Yeah. You know? And then there was distance because um he's from Fresno. Okay. And I live over here in Fullerton. So it was quite a drive. So we'd see each other like once a month. And then um just communication. Yeah. You know? And I don't think it was anyone's fault in general. I still have so much love for him. Yeah. Um, like if anyone were to talk about him badly, I wouldn't like that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know. I just feel like it was, he didn't start, he didn't start feeling that anymore mm -hmm. for me. And which I'm so thankful that he told me like, that was my biggest thing since we started talking. I was like, Oh, um, if you ever, like lose like any type of feeling or anything let me know i'm not gonna block you i'm not gonna talk shit about you i'm not gonna do anything i was like i'm gonna be so thankful because i was like i would hate to find out a year after you lost feelings or for you to want to cheat on me or something i was like i'd rather you just let me go you know and yeah eso pasó. Pues me dijo, it hurt a lot it hurt a lot and i feel like i'm one of the type of people that i don't like to give up on people yeah you know you give and, the benefit of the doubt, though, mm -hmm. to a lot of people. Yeah. Like, I feel like I like making excuses. Mm. And that's my biggest thing mm. where I'm like, I try to see the best. And I'm like, like, no, like, it's OK. Like, even if I'm like unhappy because you did this, I love you more than I love my needs right now. So I'm going to try to like, like help you. And then afterwards, see if I can help myself. My, You can't do that. I know. Though. Which is why I am thankful that he cut it because yeah. after like um we were having like i was having a horrible week and um i just i one thing i feel like i did try to communicate everything and i was communicating that oh i wasn't like doing too well this and that and he um 
he didn't really comfort me, you know? And that's kind of when I felt a little off. So then I had sent a message and I was like, oh, I just feel like I need a little bit of extra love right now. Um, I feel like I'm not getting comfort from anything. And that's when I got like um, the text message saying like, oh, like, I think it's best we end things and like, um, oh, you know, text though. Well, yeah, I even though it's through text message, I'm so thankful okay. instead of me having to drive all the way to him yeah. to get broken up with. That is true. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's true. You guys are long distance. OK, what it would have it would. OK, would it work if it wasn't long distance? Would it have worked? Well, this is where I have my opinions. I know people are like, oh, esto que el otro. I think if you see distance as that big of a thing, you don't know that person enough to love them enough to want to make it work. I think if you really love someone, you can make it work. I think it's more of a compromise of like, we don't have like a normal relationship, but that's kind of beautiful. Like the fact that we love each other so much and we're so far, like imagine how much we would yeah. love if we were together, you know? But um, yeah, it was through message. Um, I was really hurt, but I like, we talked about it and we ended on good terms. I was like, thank you for telling me. I was like, like, you're a really good guy, this and that. And then I was like, I think you were a good guy, just not maybe not a good boyfriend for me. Okay. And then he was like, yeah, he was like, maybe we should have been friends on the long. And then we just got sure. carried away. And this, it still hurt. I'm of not going to say it not. And um, we were still texting um, for a little bit. And then I ended up going back home and I went to go. I made a TikTok. Um, oh, like, come with me in my private jet because my car's loud. Um, to go pick up my... Um, a couple of things for my ex house and to um, drop off a couple of things. I think that I still had a little bit, cause I, like I said, I'm very, I try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. I was like, some type like, of hope. Maybe I was like, maybe I was like, maybe like I'm going to show up and he's going to have flowers for me or like mm. beg me or something or be like, Oh, like just to give me that validation that I did try hard enough and that I was mm. good enough, you know? Cause even though he told me like, it's not like you're good. Like it, it, I just didn't feel anymore. I was like, was I lacking something, you know? You still needed that closure for yourself. So I was hoping, I was like, I wouldn't get back with him right now because he broke up with me, you yeah. know? And it's stupid to get right back with someone after, like, they broke up with you. And I was like, but a part of me, I feel like it was like, please, like, let him try something so I don't feel stupid. Like, so then I'm like, like, just a little bit, like, like, just tell me that you regret it. Just something, something. to give me, like, a little bit of hope saying, like, okay, like, I'm a, I was a good boyfriend, like, like, I was yeah. worth it. Yeah. But yeah, I got there and then... We hung out a little bit and then I helped him with one of his tanks and I picked up my things. And then afterwards, um, when I left, me dio mucha tristeza, you know, because I was like, this is probably the last time like I'm going to see him. And then his mom was there, too. And I loved her mm -hmm. so much and his sister. And he was like, do you want to say bye to my mom? And I was like, no, I was like, I honestly don't. I was like, I feel like me va a dar mucha tristeza and I'm going to cry. And I was like, and I feel dumb. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well, don't feel dumb. And I was like, I know, but I was like. I got broken up with when I tried like to make it work. So I was like, I feel, I just feel stupid, even though the, it wasn't his fault. Yeah. Like it wasn't his fault at all. And I'm so thankful he like spoke out about how he was feeling, you know, but I was like, I felt so dumb. So I kept it together in the house. But like I said, as soon as I got into my car, I was like the whole car, you had a six hour <laughs> drive. Well, I was staying with my family in Corcoran. So it was an hour, but I oh, was like, okay, either way, I was like for the whole oh, car ride my. bald. Then I was like, I can't go home like this. I was like, I need to go to my friend's house. So I went to my friend's house, bought some more. Then I was going to go home again. I was like, I need to go to my other friend's house because I actually can't go home. Bought some more. And yeah. And then that's when it goes back to like my mom. Like I made a TikTok talking. No, I went on live talking about this. And I was like, it's those moments where I was like, I wish I had someone in my family where I'm like, ay, mami, like, me quebra un corazón. Like, estoy triste. You want to be able to say it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, for her, like, no, no es así. And if anything, I, I didn't mention it to her because I was like, me va a decir que I told you so, kid. Yeah. This is what happens for being in a gay relationship, yeah. like a heartbreak, you know? So it's that where I was like, I can't get comfort from them. So I have to go to like my friends, you know? But they at least, I don't want to say at least, but it, like I, I'm glad because I feel like if you wouldn't have anybody, I feel like you'd be in a deeper, darker hole. Mm -hmm. like I, like a lot of people go through and I, it makes me sad because although like obviously I, I support LGBTQ and everything and you know parents started accepting or whatever but this is still normal 
Mm -hmm. like parents aren't accepting and then you have this situation going on in your relationship where it's like I'm not comfortable enough to talk to my own mom about it or my own dad or let alone like your sisters right Mm -hmm. are you you the only boy sorry no I have an older brother okay Mm -hmm. um but do you feel like you like learn you you learn more about yourself in like situations like this yes I feel like I know I can handle it yeah but I know it's gonna hurt a lot more because I'm not getting like that support from like my family family you know what i feel like i feel like you had to kind of figure things out on your own because mm-hmm. you're al- also the last one right i'm also the only one that left the house not married yeah you see, yeah so it's kind of like i've been i have like i struggle all the time but it's like like there's no other option you know like it's like either that or like pues me quedo en mi casa and like unhappy you know the most the kindest like my sisters know um i haven't talked to them about it but the um it's like, you know, that thing where it's like, oh, like, luego que te regan tus papas, they bring you an apple or something to like, like a piece of fruit, to like, oh, to make you feel better. The most kindness I've gotten, like, from them, this is no shade to them, like, after, like, the breakup was my brother. He was like, do you want me to wash your car? And I was like, mm. yeah. And then you might be like, oh, how'd you know that, like, that that was from that? I'm like, it was right after, like, I posted about it and his um, wife follows me and she asked me about it later on. Um he's not the type to like ever offer to do anything like that. So when he did that randomly, when I was in my room, like, like oh, wow. I was like, oh, like he probably feels bad. Like, de lo que pasó. Yeah. like I feel like my sister-in-law's more um, caring about yeah. me in that way. Like after it happened, she was like, oh, are you okay? She was yeah. like, acabaron bien. I was like, yeah, we're like good. And she was like, ay, she was like, pues no, ni modo, todo pasa por una razón. I was like, yeah. So it's like that. Yeah. You know, like it's little things, but I'm like, it's the only thing I can like grab on to. You're like, okay, like someone's kind of listening. Mm-hmm. Like he also like even if his wife told him mm-hmm. like he still he didn't have to do it mm-hmm. either way. And it's like the bare minimum. Yeah. But it's like the most that I've gotten. Like like You're my like, brother's oh, never wow. like my brother's never told me like, oh, like um, I accept you for being gay. His wife is the one that told me. They, they've had a conversation that he was like, I'm always going to like siempre voy a querer a chuche no matter what. So it's like your relationship with all of them kind of like mm-hmm like a like a surfboard kind of it's kind of like washing they're my siblings but i don't know them yeah like that you know mm-hmm. and it's like they know me up to a point but i i hold back saying a lot of things around them because i'm like you guys are gonna tell my parents yeah you know you know it's not safe you don't mm-hmm. feel safe and it's like i when i like i love them and this is not like shitting no. on them or anything like no but it's I love your them. feelings i love them so much and i would do anything for them but it's that like it was like no like not i don't know some of their ages mm. also because i have a horrible memory but also just because <laughs> like no like i like if the, my friends know more about me than they do if yeah. you had to ask someone between my friends and them something about me odds are my friends are going to be able to like oh know something I'll, more i'll compete yeah. them yeah yeah like if you were lost let's say obviously, <laughs> obviously I know. you know but if you were lost in the middle of somewhere your friends would be like the ones that are leading and not your parents or your siblings. Mm-hmm. Or it's like if like you asked, like if I was back home and both my friends and my family were there now, they're like, hey, Seuss left and he doesn't have his phone. Who, Where did he go? Yeah. Odds are my friends would be able to yeah. tell them, oh, he's over he's here. here. Yeah. Instead of like my parents, he'd probably, they'd probably be like, mm, where did he go? Like they probably would be thinking. And that's not saying like that's not shitting on them either. It's just like no me conocen because it's also like, like I know that they're not going to like lo que miren lo que miran i mean so it's kind of like like why make my life more difficult like i'd rather and i know people are like oh you should i do sometimes but sometimes with so much going on in your life sometimes i'm like i actually just don't have like the energy for this like i'd rather like save this for otras cosas que me estresan más you know do you feel like as you get older like it change it not changes changes do you feel like as you get older though like it affects you or you're kind of learning as you go and you see it like like it doesn't does it make you sad like does it affect your day-to-day not no? anymore i feel like it's something that i learned to live with like how i mentioned me papa like i don't think i'd ever be able to bring someone right. home with him like me it, like at first it made me really sad but it's now something that i'm like well there's nothing i can do about it like you can just try to like be as happy as you can you or you can just be like you can just be sad you know and like i would love for like my future boyfriend or husband to like be able to like do that but i'm like i don't think it would happen yeah yeah and so like he passes you know like i feel like my mom would be able to like aguantarlo my siblings now they would be like 
Like, even my brother wasn't really talkative with my boyfriend. He was just like, hi. And never, like, he never mentioned him to me, you know? Yeah. So they would tolerate it. But my dad's the only one that I don't see it happening. So now after you've experienced that relationship, what do you look for now? Like, mm-hmm. you know how after every relationship, you're kind of just like, okay, mm-hmm. I saw this. I don't want this to happen again. Or are your standards, are you open to dating now? Mm-hmm. How long has it been? It was only been like a, a like month. month. Yeah, a right? Month. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think if it was the right person, I would be open to it. But I just don't think that I would right now, you know? Like, um, you're still healing. Mm hmm. And I'm, well, I'll get to this right now, but yeah, I think if the, for then my next relationship, I'd want it to be, I want to feel loved as much as I love, you know? Cause it's like, um, I don't, what's it called? Love bombing. I don't love bomb, mm. but I give as much as I can to like, I'm like, like, look at like, not even trying to be like that, but look what everything I can provide for you. Like, that's why I tried not try, but like, Minase trying to give them all forms of affection because I was like, I love you. Like, I want you to see it. Like, mm. like I can give you like physical touch, like, yeah. like gift giving, like words of affirmation. Like, I love you so much. Like, I'm the type of person. Like, I'll be like, Good morning, I love you. This and that, mm. just to show you, like, this is what you'll get. You know. Yeah. So I feel like for my next one, I want to be able to feel that feel without that. having to ask. You know, I want que le nazca. You know, because I feel like si le nace a alguien, it's like it's coming straight out of their yeah. heart. Because once you have to ask for it, it's kind of like uh not genuine Mm -hmm. you know and then i feel like and then afterwards it's like oh well i gave you what you asked but it's like yeah but now i feel bad because now i had to ask for it you know yeah so i feel like that's something i definitely would want for sure i agree and i feel like you are worthy of worthy and deserving of all the love in the world thank you i think everybody is no matter what type of person and i want to tell you myself this is a safe space for you Mm mm-hmm I feel like I needed a safe space when I was young too. And I didn't have that a lot because just family member, family members, cameras and all this stuff. So I felt like timid mm-hmm. and scared, mm-hmm. but you have a safe space because I've, I, I feel you and I do not want you to feel like you're alone I appreciate that. or, you know, sometimes I just feel like some people need to hear that and you definitely are deserving of love no matter straight gay no mm-hmm. matter whoever doesn't matter mm-hmm. and obviously i i believe god loves you no matter what mm-hmm. you do too. no yeah but i've always said that i mean i'm like oh like like my parents are like no vas a misa tanto and i'm like yeah no porque sometimes like see like I, I start hearing things i'm like i don't agree with that you know like i'm no like like, right. nadie paisi, pero I think I'm like, yo digo que si yo soy una buena persona, Diosito no le importa. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I think, like, he loves me because I love so much, you know? And like, to reach their own. Yeah, and it's mm-hmm. like, I think, like, un día, like, if it's, like, oh, like, how they say, like, oh, if you play back everything, like, to see if you're going to get into heaven or, like, like, todas más cosas, I don't think being gay is going to be one of them because I'm like, like, yo amo, porque, like, not because it's, like, soy maldo, so I, because I want more, I do it because, like, right. me nace, you know? No. But, of course... I believe love is for everybody and God's mm-hmm. love is for you as well. And again, safe space, safe here. I be your sister. Don't worry. Oh, I love you. taking care of people. And I, you know, I don't know. I just feel like there's so much more worse going on in this world. Like it can go by like this and to be waste, not wasting it, but not spending them the days like genuinely and like, I love you and like sharing and being happy. Mm-hmm. Like, it's kind of just letting it go to waste. It's like, no, like, tenemos esta vida por una razón. Mm-hmm. I'm going to love who I love, et cetera, et cetera. Just mm-hmm. let's move on and be happy. And then, like, part of also, like, kind of going with that, too, is, like, I know some people after they have a breakup, like, this is when like, my first breakup. It was, like, the worst, right. like, thing. I'm not, like, this. I think it's, like, oh, like, I don't believe in love again. I felt it, you know? Yeah. It, didn't, it didn't last, but I'm, like, lo sentí, and I'm, like, now that I felt it, I'm like, I would want to feel it again, yeah. you know? like Give it another chance. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're going to be, I don't know, manifesting yeah. love over Hopefully. here. <laughs> All right, we're going to go on a quick break, and then we're going to come back and play Amiga Circle. All right, you guys, welcome back. We're going to play everyone's favorite game, Amiga Circle. These are conversation cards. They are by We All Grow Latina. If there's any other card games that you guys recommend, these are my favorite so far, and I like playing them, or not playing them, 
using them. I feel like they're really great. Um, to inspire and ignite conversations and, you know. Okay, here you go. Choose mm -hmm. one. I got a pink one. I got a purple one. Okay, you want to go first? Okay. Wait, let me. Okay, let me go first. Okay. <laughs> Amiga, ¿qué es algo que no sabemos de ti? Mm, I have like a tumor in my head. Really? Yes. Where? Um, somewhere in here. I don't remember. I used to get headaches a lot, but it's benign. Benign. Okay. I don't know the thingy. Uh huh. Pero um, yeah. What? I remember because I was like, oh, I would get headaches a lot, and then they did an X-ray, and they're like, oh, tiene algo like in the brain. I thought I was dying. If I'm being honest, you can live with it. What? Yeah. It's like no. It's like not big. Okay. Like it's just like everyone's like, that's why he's like that way. No, I'm just like oh this because God. I'm like <laughs> porque si soy. No, pero um, yeah, it's just like there. And like I got, I would go to Valley Children's and they would check it up. Last time was probably like I need to go check, get it checked out. But um, actually, <laughs> last last time was probably like in high school. What? And um, they were just like, oh no, it hasn't grown in like three years. Like we think it should be good. I would, but I always tell my friends, I was like, hi, hey, you guys need to valorar me because if it grows, I'm gone, girl. There. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. How could? It? Okay, we'll talk about it after. But mm -hmm. wow, all right, all right, as you can live with it. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you're okay. Go for it. Amiga, how can you be kinder to yourself right now? Oh, how can I be kinder to myself? Well, right now I'm getting my period. I'm going to be very honest. So I'm very like mm -hmm. just angry with my body. Mm -hmm. I'm angry with myself. So I feel like right now I could just tell myself good things. Get a, I know what I'm feeling is just my hormones. So also just accepting myself and for the way I am right now. But you know what? Sometimes like... I wish you would get your period so you can understand. I but like, it's I do. Being <laughs> I'm getting it next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it gets annoying. It's like, oh, like anything I wear, I'm just whatever. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me do grow. Ooh. Okay. Amiga, when I look at my reflection, I see someone strong and hopeful. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Amiga, how do you experience pleasure? Oh. Making sure I'm reading this right because I'm because <laughs> I'm ELD. Amiga, how do you ex experience pleasure? Yeah. How do I experience pleasure? <laughs> Let's not say that one. No. <laughs> um when I am honestly when I'm just laying in my bed. Mm. I just like being home, like just I go, so I love taking naps. Do you ever feel like you're just like, do you have those days where you're just like, ugh, every like day. laying in bed I, every I love, day? I love rotting in bed. Yes. I know some people don't like being bored. I love being bored. And, but I have to be careful sometimes because I was just like, me paso, I'm like, it's already been like day three. Oh. I'm like, okay, that means your depression's kicking in. Like, mm -hmm. let it <laughs> get out, get some sun. Okay. What makes you feel safe, supported, and empowered? Mm. Consideration. Yeah. I feel like that's one of my biggest things where I feel like I've never, like, I always feel like no one, I feel like you'll say that person is like, I always think like, even if I'm in an argument with someone, I'm like, how is this person feeling? If I, how would I feel if I was in their shoes? How are they feeling? Okay. I get why they're being like this, but I feel like it's never really reciprocated a lot for me when it's like, I'm upset or something's going on with me. I feel like no one's ever like, well, how is Jesus doing? Like, how is like, is he okay? Like if I was in that situation, I feel like I always have to be like, tell people like, put yourself in my shoes. Mm -hmm. So I feel like. When someone is like, oh, I get what I get. I get what you're coming from. Like, I get it. I feel like I'm like, OK, like I'm not like crazy. Like, like I feel safer. I'm like they're trying to see things from my point of view. Yeah. Can I tell you something, though? And I've learned this along the way. It's also because we have expectations. We feel because we do those things for people. We're expecting them to do it in return for us, mm -hmm. which isn't OK, because not everyone is like us. Mm -hmm. Like we're thinking I am my own person. You're your own person. Maybe this person's not going to be exactly like me. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't expect it, but I'm still going to love them and do it anyways. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I and I had a hard time accepting that because it's like, damn, like, I'm giving you literally everything and I'm barely getting this, but it doesn't mean that I'm not doing it with love. It's just kind of like, I hope you can understand me as well. Mm -hmm. So I get it. It gets like... And it's difficult. It is. Uh -huh, because it's like, oh, like... Porque like how you said, like, a mí me nace tan fácil. Yeah. But I'm like, like, 
I don't stir anything up. And like, you start thinking like, I don't stir anything up and you get the quieren hacer to like, yes. to try to yeah. see things, you know? No. And which is, which is fine, but it takes like time. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. I get it. You're not me and that's okay, but I'm still going to love you anyways. Like learn, mm-hmm. go for it. Okay. Amiga, without fear, without hesitation, what are you ready to manifest? Ooh, without fear, hesitation. I would like to say love. Mm. I feel like I am in a position now where I am ready to start dating because I've always been scared of love. Like, Mm. and that's because I come, my mom's gotten divorces. My sister's gotten divorced. My, you know, so that's all I see, like a lot of people in my family. And I want to be able to break that as well. Mm. So I've always, not that I've always been scared of love. But I feel like I see it as something it's going to be broken. Mm-hmm. And I don't want it. Like do it's like a, it expires. Yes. Uh-huh. And it's like I don't I don't want to see it like that. Um, also love from other people and not have like a wall. Mm-hmm. Like I want to experience like, OK, this person genuinely loves me. Not because of who I am or what I bring to the table. It's like, no, this person actually loves mm-hmm. me. And like I even to- if there was nothing yes, that you could bring. Exactly. Like- I want to see that difference mm-hmm. like in people and love and stuff. So yeah, cuando Dios quiere. Yes. We'll see. I'll manifest with you. Yes. What are you manifesting mm. without being scared? Yeah, without being scared. Mm. Let me think. Probably acceptance, like more acceptance, mm-hmm. like from like my family, like everything, yeah. just like more of that. I feel like that would like just heal a little bit more everything, you know? You know what I just thought about? I feel like you could come up with like a, like a, I don't want to say discord chat, but something better where you are chatting with people, you know, the broadcast channels, mm-hmm. but where I, where you can have people reply to you. Mm-hmm. where you would have a diary because i know that you're not the only one that's going through what you're mm-hmm. going through no well they've that. reached they've reached out to me like yeah. i like some of my comadres have reached out like i remember like a couple years ago this one comadre um he was younger he was like oh my god he was like i've seen your videos i think i'm gay too but like i don't think like like this and that and i was like i was like oh pues. i was like honestly from my experience i was like you can't change like quien eres. like mm-hmm. everything's gonna be fine like i was like my family's not accepting they're probably not but i'm like Les toca que aguantar. it's gonna be difficult and now his like mom knows of his boyfriend. Wow. Like like he updated me. I remember he was like, "Oh my god, do you remember that?" I, he messaged me. Right? He's like, "Do you remember that I had messaged you that all along, he, a, a long time ago?" I mean, and I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "I have a boyfriend now," and like, like esto que lo otro. And I'm like, "Yeah." Like that's real. Your platform like changed people. Mm-hmm. Like, like even little things. Like sometimes, door. sometimes I'm like, "Oh, estoy bien pendejo." Like like actually, what do I do? But then it's like little moments where I'm like. Oh, like at least like tuve un impacto in like this one person's yeah. like life like and that's happened several times with different people that's so I'm fun. like it's like I feel like siempre pasa when I'm like Ooh. like yeah. in a horrible little thing or it's like a little glimpse of hope and I'm like okay wow. like I'm not like a big like I impacted someone like I'm not a big failure you know yeah like you're and I love that because it's coming from something that you did genuinely like mm-hmm. kind of as like little shits and giggles, like to post and stuff like that. You're actually changing people's lives. Mm-hmm. What else do you want to do with your, with your platform? Mm, I don't know if I would want to do it forever. Okay. But I feel like while I do it, I just want to make it fun and obviously help people if I can. That's like for some of my um, sponsor sponsorships and stuff. I always try to see if I can do like um, like a giveaway or something with it because I'm like, oh, plus if I'm benefiting from it, there's no reason why like my comadres else? can't benefit from it. Like, you know, like the Don Omar tour that I just went on, um, like they gave off a couple of tickets because, and That's I was good. like, like cositas así, you know, like I worked with Amazon like like a year ago or two and I'm like, we gave out like, um, like I think it was like $500 um, thingies to students. Like son cositas así, I'm like, I love it when it's stuff like that because I'm like, if I'm benefiting from it, like everybody else, everyone can. like should benefit from it. Go for it. What were you oh, doing? I was going to say, this leads me to the next thing. Go. I think if I was rich, I would uh-huh. not last being rich. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. You spend it every day? I feel like I me daría tanto, like, like, oh my God, like, I hate to feel like, I feel like I would just give it away. And being like someone who was like raised, like sus papas, like yeah. trabajando, like in the field, I feel like I would specifically like, like give it back to like, oh, like mm-hmm. go out to like the Central Valley and like las, las comunidades where it's like only like like yeah. farmers, you know, and be mm-hmm. like, oh, give back because you era no que like no tenía like cosas case, like, you know, so yes. I'm like mm-hmm. giving back a little bit. That's why like 
I remember I was talking to someone, they're like, oh, pues tú no, está ya, you, no aguantarías. And I was like, I feel like I'd be happy even if I wasn't rich. If I like, I knew I had all that money and I just gave it away to people. I'm like, al menos like, I know que hice something good. Something. Like you can go to bed and do something. Mm -hmm. um, how often do you go to Mexico? I go technically twice because I'm there at the beginning of the year and the end of the year. Okay. I go in December and don't come back until January. Mira. Mm -hmm. Last, not this year, but the year before, duré dos meses. Wow. You love it. Mm -hmm. I, over. you would move up yeah over. exactly like long-term goal lo que quiero hacer i don't want to work forever so i want to like buy a couple properties or something here rent them out get someone to like be in charge of it be smart uh-huh mm -hmm. uh -huh. one of my undocumented friends maybe <laughs> i'm like everything under the table yeah. i'm like you win i win yeah. pero yeah um and them just be in charge of it you'll be in mexico and like que nomás que me manden mi cheque and then like you know like stuff like that because i'm actually so happy over there like Like, people have talked about it. They're like, oh, like, se te nota que contento estás when you're yeah. in Mexico. And it's like, I am. I'm like, I love my mom's side of the family. And they're more accepting. Mm -hmm. um, and I have closer cousins over there, too. Like, my cousin Diana, I love her so much. Like, she's, like, one of the first people I told I was gay. Like, cosas así. Like, she's always been, like, so supportive and loving that when I'm over there with her, I'm like, like, everything's good. Like, we can actually, like, do nothing all day and just lay in, like, on the couch or in bed or, like, sitting outside that's the most fun I've ever had. I've even told her, I was like, si yo tuviera dinero, because she's studying to be a doctor, and I was like, I would just move to Morelia with you, and we could just live together. Mm. Like, you know? So, li living in Mexico would be a dream. I you would love that. ¿Nunca buscas amor por allá? Okay. There's been like, flirting, pero nothing like, serious. Serious? Mm -hmm. I know, I got stood up over there, so I'm like, I know. You did? Mm -hmm. What do you, tell me. This guy, primero el rogando. <laughs> <laughs> and I messages que es, oh, esto que el otro, que we should meet up at um, Bar Me Delirio. And I was like, okay, pues vamos. The day que iba a llegar uh, allí, okay. didn't show up. No. <laughs> I was so angry, but I was like, I, I'm not even going to un unfollow him or block him. I was like, para que mire que no, no me importa. So the day after, I went again with my cousin. Y estaba ahí sentado y pasé como no, si nada. No, he wasn't. Yeah, y pasé como si nada y ya. Nunca nos dijimos nada. Pero it was just like flirting with guys here and there. Mm -hmm. oh. But mm. nothing serious, you know, because I'm like, no, tampoco no soy tan pendejo to get played. Like, ah. I'm, I'm pendejo once I fall, pero mientras, ah. estoy, mientras que estoy caminando, no. You're like, no. Mm -hmm. I love it, though. I've always, I've always wanted to live así una, a story. I know. Like, I, buscando un amor por allá and then no, pero falling in love. My, um, mi prima tiene esa suerte de que, like, every year, every really? year, like, even though she's in Mexico, every year in Diciembre, There's a love story. And I always, I always told that to my friends. I was like, being in Mexico in December is like being 13 in middle school <laughs> and having like boy drama. And they're like, what do you mean? And I took my friend Joanna this year with me. And she was like, I know what you mean yeah, now. I know what you mean. Because she had it too. She got it, her love experience. Le llevaron chocolates. Wow. A la, la, fueron a mi casa. And he was like, puedes salir afuera a platicar. La llevó a cenar dos veces. La encaminó. Se besuquearon. I'm Ay, going Joanna, with you she, next time. I know. I'm like, everyone finds love besides me. <laughs> I know everyone. I'm like, mi primo went too. Uh -huh. He had his little situation ship. It was like drama Damn. left and right. And I was like. You're Cupid. Actually, like, I'm just there and I'm like witnessing everything unfold. <gasps> and then I even told him, I was like, I know. I was like, Diana, tú con tu viejito. I was like, Uri con su viejita. <laughs> Joana con su viejo. And I was like, y yo aquí nomás mirando Are todo unfold. Violets and everything. I'm like, everyone dancing me just holding jackets <laughs> like this. Cuba. oh well you gotta let me know so i can go with you i see i'm like everyone's invited period do plan a trip take your um your supporters with you imagine i'm, I'm like all expenses paid for There um live a life live a no. week live a, live a week with me in mexico come on come on let's go i know i'm like va a ser humilde though only frijoles for <laughs> no. breakfast i'm down if that i always say like my death row meal i would love just to have my frijoles una tortilla, queso fresco, huevito y un chilito de vinagre. Oh, some frijolitos with chicharrón and then tu tortilla. Oh, delicious. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go eat right now. Okay, one last question for both of us before we go on break, okay? Amiga, what do you love most about yourself? Mm. Physically, my eyes. They are beautiful. I love my eyes, ¿verdad? Um, I think... I love how much empathy I can have. Okay. That's like one of the things, like I know people are like, he's eating his own ass. I generally feel que like, yo tengo mucha. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
no yeah because they're gonna be like oh my god like me, uh-huh. oh my god i have so much empathy <laughs> right. no like generally like yo siento uh-huh. que like i have a lot of empathy and i right. think that's one of my things where i'm like que bonitos que like you can have this for someone even though that they don't have it for you mm-hmm. you know i love that i think that that's mine okay, okay. now your turn okay physically i love my dimples that's cute i love it um internally what do i love most about myself is that i can say i'm patient like i feel like people or even with for example with kids like they could be doing crazy ass shit and i'll be composed or in my friendships and relationships or whatever relationship i've been i'm just like okay i'm gonna breathe you're pissing me off right now but i'm gonna be patient and learn and i like to observe también mm-hmm. like i'm very like i see what you're doing and i know how how it's going. So, I think okay. you're so strong for being patient too. I feel like I'm pretty good too, but I feel like that's honestly like one of the most beautiful things that you're able to like not go into those urges of like attack mode or defense. Well, there's or anything. sometimes I want to though. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, this is even with like the internet, I'm just like, oh my God. Like, like, it's like I don't have time for this right mm-hmm. now. But that's honestly so beautiful. They like, tu te puedes aguantar. Cause it's like, you're actually like, like you're like, I know that this isn't good for me. Like, let's just like, yes. like mejor no digo nada y me quedo calmadita. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go on a quick break and then we'll be right back to wrap it up, you guys. Welcome back, you guys. Asus, comadre has a question for me. Go ahead. Yes. Do you think your mom would have liked me? That's actually the <laughs> biggest thing I've, I've wanted to ask. I was thinking about on the way over here. I was like, oh my God, if she says no, this is actually <laughs> going to send me in a downward spiral. Because I was no. like, me and my, like I said, me and my primas ride hard. So I'm like, I was like, Love this is my chance to like ask and get some kind of like, like, okay, like, I'm the it girl, period. Tell me. Okay. Yes, yeah, she would have liked you. I think your TikToks would have made her laugh very, God, very, so very much, especially the ones of her. Because my mom, you know, everyone loves seeing people use their own content, but I definitely do think so. Um, yeah. I'm like cheesy. I'm like excited. I'm, I like, yeah. I'm like, hey. I'm like, she doesn't know you, Diana, period. I know. <laughs> no, but yeah, my mom always, always, and she obviously loved her, like, gay community and stuff like that. She always, like, mess around and you know, joke around with him, but I do definitely think that she would love me. Uh, I'm like, me in my head, I was like, she would fuck with me because I'm like, I, I would say out-of-pocket things just yes, to make her laugh. Exactly. I would do it just to make exactly. her laugh. Exactly. Oh my God, period. I'm like, actually, it. like, yeah. I'm like, I was like down here, brought me up here. There you go. Depression <laughs> gone. <laughs> like, my <laughs> life fixed. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm like, I, Solution, modas, perfect. I'm like, my tias might not fuck with me. Jenny, Jenny would have. <laughs> So I'm like, who's winning? Like, that's who's enough winning? for me. No, my love, but I really appreciate you coming on and sharing your beautiful story with me and being comfortable and your relationship and playing the game. I feel like I got to know more about you and I hope the audience did as well. Um, can you please share your so- your socials? I always mess up. I always say socials. <laughs> I'm ELD, so I, can't <laughs> say, I actually can't say anything. Pues on TikTok is Jesus Acevedo X43. On Instagram is Jesus Acevedo X. And I have a YouTube, but I don't post on it. So I just look up Jesus Acevedo X. Okay, why don't you post? I, I've you tried, but then I, I, while, while editing, I'm like, I know, estoy bien pendejo. And I just delete it. <laughs> <laughs> I delete it. No, okay, but please make like a group chat. Like, I feel like you need like your own little diary thing with all your supporters mm-hmm. where like you guys can relate and talk and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I feel like you'd be great doing something like guiding people i don't know uh, i just see it i'm like on discord i'm gonna make a huge ass group chat on there instagram you go. told me to make this guys <laughs> i'm like so y'all better join <laughs> yeah but no. either way thank you for having me um i really appreciate it i'm so sweet um i feel like i always take it very um to heart when someone invites me like obviously like into their like life like even though like like no nos hablamos así it's like yeah. you invited me you know like you opened a door so I really do appreciate that, you know. Oh, and I want you to know, again, you have a safe space here. You have a safe space in my heart if you feel like you want to talk or if you feel like you need a sister or someone to help you with anything, I am here. I my, you that. have my number yeah. and, you know, you know where I live and my mom would have loved you. So go ahead That's and so live your best life now. <laughs> starts knowing crying. That. <laughs> no, but thank you guys. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure you guys please follow, like, comment, subscribe. This is the end of episode 39. Let us know who you guys want to see for the season finale next Tuesday. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Overcomfort Podcast is a production of iHeart's My Cultura Podcast Network.